Hello and welcome back to my channel. And today we're tackling the home, decluttering, organizing, easy hacks and tricks you could do literally today to get your home in order because I'm telling you, nothing feels better. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure you are subscribed and following me over on Instagram. Things are fun and my stories and I share daily tips there. First decluttering hack is to get an empty poof or just the cover of an ottoman. You can find these really affordable from Amazon and use that as functional storage for your excess items that you don't have space for. In our case, I'm using this for Capri, my daughter's stuffed animal. She has quite the stuffed animal collection. We have run out of storage space for them, so they go right in the poof. And now they become functional because I can use this as a little seat or footstool for when we are playing together. I have one that I put in her room and one that I have in the playroom. So this works really well for extra stuffed animals, for extra towels, extra blankets, heavy winter coats, or any of your off-seasonal clothing items. And a related option here for your less soft things is to get a storage ottoman. So those are the hard ottomans that you can use on the foot of your bed or use them by chairs for footstools. And they have them in small size, large sizes, all different shapes, sizes, colors. Another related hack, and this is probably my favorite trick I share this entire year, so I wanted to mention it again, and that is to take your extra blankets and you can fold them in to throw pillows. So here's how you do this. So first you wanna lay your blanket out flat and fold it in two thirds lengthwise towards the center. Then take one end and fold it over a third of the way down. You've just created a little pocket. Then go to the other side and fold it over in two thirds. Tuck the remaining blanket into the pocket and you've created a little pillow. Now let's move into the kitchen to our kitchen appliances because as much as we love them, they can be very bulky and take up a lot of space. So now is the time to have a real honest talk with yourself. Look at your kitchen appliances that you have and which are the ones that you're actually using versus the one that your fantasy self uses. Honey, have you seen my bread maker? I'm trying to make a pumpernickel loaf today. I've been proofing my bread for days now. I don't just make bread. I make edible art in the form of a card. This is the time to look at the appliances that you really have not used in the past year or more and declutter them, donate them. And for those appliances that make the cut that you wanna keep, I have an awesome hack, this little gadget that I found. It's an appliance cord organizer that sticks directly onto the appliance. So let's say your crock pot, your instant pot sticks right on there and you can wrap the cord up so it's nice and neat and compact and the cords are not flying around everywhere. Just one of those little things. Another one of my all time favorites for your closet is to keep a donation bag in your closet. You want to have the donation bag right there in your closet because as you're getting dressed, as you're trying things on and something doesn't fit right, you don't love it, you can instantly put it in the donation bag so that way you are constantly in the state of decluttering and it's not this huge project that you tackle once or twice a year. Tackle a tiny decluttering project and try to do one every day. It can be your car console or your nightstand for me, my little tiny decluttering project of the day today is my nail supplies drawer. It's gotten chaotic, out of hand, and I just need to sit down and spend five to 10 minutes to do this one drawer. It's easy, it's quick, it's satisfying, and it helps build momentum. And you just have to do a little bit at a time and you'll make progress throughout your entire house. And to add on to that, what really sets it over the top take a before and after photo and post that on social media. I usually post mine on my Instagram stories. So my challenge to you today is to take your before and after photo and tag me at Vassar Beauty, another tiny decluttering project I did the other day that I wanted to share because it was so satisfying was my Nespresso pod drawer. I just got these bamboo drawer dividers, popped them in here and subdivided my pods and it brings me joy every day as I pick my coffee, open the drawer and everything is just visually so appealing. It's all sorted out. Next one is make it a point, make it a rule in your household. When you go to get the mail, 
walk in your house and stand right over the trash recycling area and that's where you need to be opening your mail because wow that junk mail your bill all of that stuff can pile up and become such a problem but if you're doing it right over the trash can you can instantly put things that need to be recycled next little tip is to store things where you use them or right nearby where you use them it's going to make it easier to not only get the item but more importantly to put it away when you're done so what is the room in the house that you need to vacuum the most make sure your vacuum is in or near that room so it's just easy to grab it when you need it and it's easy to put away so if there's things in your house that are consistently being left out and not getting put away rethink where you're storing them in the first place and make it closer to the place where you're actually using those items next little decluttering hack is something that i like to call reverse decluttering and this is a system you want to use if you have such an influx of clutter there's so much stuff to sort through it's overwhelming and what this is is instead of going through your items and choosing the items that you want to get rid of you choose the items that you want to keep so this changes your mindset and reframes the entire process to being a lot more of a positive experience. So you're going through, let's say your drawers of makeup. What are the things that you use that you love that you want to keep? This is what I had to do with my mom. She has a really hard time decluttering her makeup and by reframing it that way, it made the experience a lot easier for her. Next one is also great if you are someone who has a hard time letting go of items create halfway boxes things you know in your mind you're not really using you don't really need but still you're having a hard time getting rid of them you have sentimental attachment put them in your halfway box store it somewhere store it in your garage and then and set an event six months or one year i like to do six months from now and if you have not thought about used open needed anything from that box in six months then it's time to donate it also, I had my mom do this process because it's really hard for her to let things go. She wanted to have a one year rule for her halfway box. Next for laundry, because this is one of the biggest issues in our household, not really for the household, just for a specific unidentified member of the household who shall remain anonymous. Wait, wait, you're not referring to me, are you? I feel attacked. If you have piles of laundry around your house, your system isn't working. Whatever system you have is not working and needs to be rethought. So follow the piles of clothes and that's where you need to be putting the laundry baskets. And our system that we follow is each household member has their own laundry basket. We do not mix loads. It just makes it a lot easier when putting things away. And my other rule, highly recommend you implement this rule. That is the laundry gets put away on that day. Because if it sits there cleaning the laundry basket, you and I both know that's not getting put away anytime soon. And then it causes a backup situation. Just make it a point to put your laundry away the day that it gets run and dry. Another little thing here I do is I listen to a podcast or even watch a show on my iPod as I'm putting my clothes away. And I did a whole video with hacks for folding and putting away your laundry two times faster. So make sure you watch that video if you haven't seen it. I will link it down below. But the last thing I wanna leave you with is my personal favorite trick in the book. It's so simple for keeping a cleaner, more organized home, and that is the don't put it down, put it away mantra. I've shared this several times over the years, but it is worth reminding because it's that good and that powerful. So as you go about your day, just keep repeating in your mind, don't put it down, put it away. This is also called the one touch rule. You only want to touch the item one time versus having to go back and put it away later because eventually it's going to get put away. So you might as well just do it now. That is the one thing that I have so many people message me and say that principle has transformed their home and helps keep their home so much cleaner and more organized on a daily basis. So don't forget that. I thought it was worth reminding. Don't put it down put it away. Make that part of your 2022 mantra. If you did enjoy this video and enjoy these tricks, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Go find me and follow me on my Instagram stories. We have a lot of fun over there. And I am challenging you to do your tiny declutter today. Right after watching this video, pick one drawer, one corner, do a little declutter, take a before and after photo and tag me over on Instagram. I would love to see it. With all of that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video.